Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Honeybee Stamps. Today I'm sharing a few ways to step up your layering stencils, so let's get started. First, I'm using the gorgeous Hearts in Bloom layering stencil set. It has four layers to give you your hearts, flowers, and foliage. I decided to use oxide inks with a light gray cardstock for a softer design than using bright white cardstock. I tape the first layer to a panel of 6x6 cardstock and blend saltwater taffy over the large hearts. I just re-inked most of my oxide pads, so I blend off some of the excess onto scrap paper before bringing it to the stencil. I apply ink with a fairly heavy hand and I love how the oxides sit on top of the colored cardstock instead of soaking into it like a dye ink. Once I'm done, I remove the stencil and dry the ink with my heat gun. Next, I temporarily tape the second stencil layer down and blend Abandoned Coral Distress Oxide Ink over the flower layer. When I'm done, I remove the stencil again and dry it with my heat gun. For my third layer, I start by blending Tattered Rose Oxide Ink onto my panel, but I ended up not liking the pale pink. So I washed and dried my stencil and then taped it back in place. This time I apply Metallic Gold Pigment Ink and I really love how it turned out. It gave the panel just the right amount of shimmer. I remove the stencil and dry that layer of ink as well. Then I place the last stencil layer over the panel and blend Chip Sapphire Distress Oxide Ink over the foliage. I love a coral pink gray and navy combo and these colors work so well together. Once my initial stenciling was done, I decided to go back and add a little more depth to my stenciling. I placed the first heart layer back on the panel and use a small blending brush to apply a little abandoned coral oxide ink over the edges of the large hearts. This just helps that pink blend a little better. I also use a tiny blender to add chip sapphire to the flower centers on that stencil layer. I feel like it just helps tie things together a little better. I dry the panel with my heat gun and then add splatters of gold metallic paint for a little extra shimmer and shine, 
and then set the panel aside to dry completely. While it was drying, I stamp a sentiment from It's Always Been You onto navy cardstock and heat emboss it with brass embossing powder. I find that the brass is a better match to the gold ink than regular gold embossing powder, which is a little too yellow for me. I die cut the sentiment with the coordinating die and then add a tangle of metallic gold thread behind it. I trim the stencil panel down to 4 by 5 and a quarter and adhere it to an A2 panel of the same navy cardstock. I adhere my sentiment and thread with foam mounting tape to finish the first card. I had a small strip of leftover stenciled cardstock, so I matted it with navy cardstock. I stamp another sentiment from It's Always Been You with navy ink onto soft gray cardstock and then adhere the leftover stencil panel to create a second card. And that's it! You can find more information on the products I used in the YouTube description below or over on my blog. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, make sure you click the bell so you're notified the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in, and until next time, have a fantastic day and happy crafting. Bye!